Hey everyone, welcome back to Intro to DJing. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to set your beat grids here in DJ. Now, one of the things to realize with DJ is like Tractor, there's not really an option of editing dynamic or flexible beat grids. So you have to decide what tempo you want your track to play on. For most tracks, this is fine, but occasionally you'll need to decide if the track has like a transition tempo, whether you wanna sync your track to the BPM that it starts with or the BPM later. And this has implications on whether you're using something like sync or trying to use the phase meter. What I tend to do is try to line it up to the beat grid at the beginning of the track and then make a note here in the comments that the track basically changes BPM as it goes throughout the track. And then I know what the tempo would be at the end of the track. So the first thing to do to set your beat grid is we need to of course find where our downbeat is and then adjust once again the tempo and the phase to make sure the beat grid is on. Now this has done it correctly and you will often find that it often does it well for most of the time but occasionally you may need to go in and adjust it manually which is what I will show you how to do in this track. So let me go ahead and get this track out of the way so we're uh, not getting confused here. First thing to do is open up this little edit icon next to the um, basically next to the, the beat grid. So what you can do is open up this, basically the waveform view by clicking on this button in either pro or classic view. And then once you do this, you'll be able to set your downbeat and the grid. So what I like doing is just finding where my first kind of percussion hit is, because this track actually is an intro, so it can be difficult to know where the track starts until here. So what I'll do is find this point open up my grid editor and then just click set grid start which will be the case and then from there i can slowly shift the grid in and out depending on that particular point that i've set the tempo so what i often find helpful is setting the beat the, the downbeat of that particular part and then seeing if later on in the track we see exactly that particular case and whether we need to shift things or not and then once you're happy with the result, you just click apply and it will apply that beat grid to the overall track, um, hopefully getting it correct. Now, one way, of course, you can verify that it's done this correct is find a track that you know has a correct grid and just simply play the two together in sync. And if they sound good together, even if the, the phrasing is a little bit different, you should be able to tell whether or not the beats are correct or not. Sit in stone, spices, ash, and styrofoam. Sure enough, that's right. We have now synced this to the correct tempo, which was 120 or 132, sorry. So we have set this beat grid and everything is good to go. So often you won't have to do this, but it's good to know how to edit it in case you're getting weird behavior with sync. Hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video.